thank you once again for providing us uh, the opportunity i shriram pande on behalf of all authors uh, professor bisag bhattacharya dr sunish jagab and dr ritu panadatta i would be presenting this topic computational study of thermal performance uh, of adaptive structures we have uh, seen in all the previous talks people have emphasized on the uh, on the topic like uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, machine learning and deep learning so uh, in some manner in continuation uh, with that train uh, uh, i'll be moving on this topic the topic is slightly uh, mechanical and then it has been and it is trans i mean that mechanical part has been studied that how ai can be implemented to make the conventional studies you know like more innovative so uh we all know you know from the observation all around that the nature is the best designer uh you know we see in these images you know uh, this is how uh, animals respond to uh, the their surrounding environment i mean uh, this in this picture we can see uh, even though the body area is constant but i mean including human beings also uh, we know how to uh, play with our exposed uh, surface body uh, body surface area to uh, counter the changes in the environmental conditions now if we see uh, in all the uh, engineering systems we have uh, thermal dissipation mechanisms in form of heat sinks uh, you know, fins but uh, the problem is that uh, all those heat sinks and uh, you know uh all those thermal dissipation mechanisms has a have a constant area so irrespective of the outside uh, uh, temperature or surrounding environment uh, their thermal performance remains the same but uh, we want to design an adaptive system which can just like uh, like mammals uh, i mean in particular and uh, natural uh, organisms uh, in general we want to design a system which can change its area in adaptation to the change in environmental conditions so that their thermal performance can be uh, enhanced uh, so derived from this uh, i mean uh, motivated from this idea we designed an uh, adaptive uh, thermal fin you know so if we can look at this uh, this fin is slightly different from the normal heat sinks in the sense that it can have variable surface area and how it will be varying its area we'll see in the next slide so what is adaptive heat sinks uh, at first just to just for definition purpose any heat sink that can dynamically uh, adjust its shape uh, in response to the thermal conditions changing uh, i mean uh, any change in the thermal condition now this change in uh, uh, area surface area can be achieved by several measures it uh, you know it can use some mechanical me mechanisms to change area or it you, it can use variable uh, heat flow a uh, fluid flow to get that thing so the means can be different but the uh, objective is to uh, attain adaptive heat change adaptive thermal performance dissipation now if we see uh, all those heat sinks that are on the left side that has been displayed on the left side they have constant surface area so whether their heat dissipation requirement is low or it is high it the area would remain same so just to counter this problem uh, we have uh, come up with this uh, model so what is the advantage first why we are approaching for this uh, uh, you know, variable surface area heat thing uh, first of all we can enhance the heat dissipation efficiency uh, we can have better temperature uh, regulation uh, it is energy efficient so suppose if we have to blow a uh, blow air over heat thing uh, in general what happens is that fan is uh, i mean the fan is drawing power uh, at a constant rate for whatever heat dissipation it requires but in this case of uh, like adaptive heat sink uh, it would 
uh, not it would vary the uh, you know the power which is it is drawing the fan with the um, uh, the power with which the fan is drawing uh, in adaptation to the requirement uh, of thermal dissipation requirement then the design can be compact it it should not be large enough to uh, cater for the worst condition because it can change its shape uh, adaptively it it can remain small and as per requirement it can increase its its size then uh, reliability and longevity is there because uh, you know system is using less mechanical parts it is more reliable uh, self regulation uh, because it can sense and it can actuate on its own and flexibility and versatility it, we can put it anywhere large system small system so these are the uh, some advantages of adaptive structures if i so this is top view of the fin that we are uh, proposing uh, here uh, if we see in these two figures uh, this is a heat sink in its closed position and this is a heat sink in open condition and open position so if we can see uh, you know the change uh, of area that we can achieve when needed uh, with opening of it, of these fins uh, we he can we can see the equation of the curves uh, so we won't be going into very much detail of that design so this is the cad model now if we see the flaps of the uh, radial fins we can see there are overlapping uh, flaps so it further the the increase uh, of area can be achieved in two stages the first one was just by opening the radial fins we got a significant change in the uh, heat dissipation area and the uh, other the other step in in which we can change uh, get the enhancement in area is by uh, like sliding the those flaps those overlapping flaps over each other so if we talk in terms of fraction of overlap suppose if uh, you know the both the flaps are completely overlapping we can say it is like 0% extension and so from 0% extension to 100% extension we can go in all those radial fins to get a uh, enhanced sur uh, surface area so this is one model uh, these are these are the geometric parameters and this is the thermal simulation uh, shown here so we'll see from the uh, graph uh, as the area is increased as the fraction that i uh, defined just uh, a few moments ago as the fraction increases uh, the heat transfer coefficient is decreasing but this graph can be misleading because we expected a uh, heat transfer coefficient to increase uh, with in, uh, increase in the fraction so uh, if we see this part which is uh, reciprocal of thermal resistance or we can say uh, thermal conductance so which is uh, you know one upon h so even though h is decreasing i mean so a is increasing so, so this overall term is increasing one upon h is increasing so we see here that the thermal performance of the heat sink is increasing as as the fin is opening so this capital a is the total exposed area that would be getting uh, and okay so now uh, with this detail you know with this uh, detail of simulation thermal simulation uh, now we come to uh, the topic which is slightly more relevant to uh, this conference is how we can uh, make this software more uh, user friendly more predictive and more uh, smart in terms of uh, choosing the parameters so th we explored how ai uh, can help in the design of uh, adaptive thermal management devices and later we'll see how ai can help in the you know modification of the software itself in which we have done the simulation so first of all if we uh, use ai in in these modelings you know we get the data driven modeling you know we have large amount of data through which we can choose uh, you know the 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 software can choose uh, which design to uh, choose a uh, topic for the simulation 
then there are intelligent control algorithms there are several algorithms in a simulation software uh, software can choose if it is ai based it can choose which uh, control alg algorithm to follow predictive analysis uh, analytics uh, so there are several uh, uh, analytical parameters it can predict which is the best parameter to choose for the uh, carrying out the simulation design optimization suppose uh, if user has specified a, a, a requirement you know so based on those requirements which pose some sort of constraint over the design uh, the software can choose the best design the optimized design for the given uh, thing real time monitoring and uh, i'm sorry uh, real time monitoring and fault detection so sometimes when software is running we see you know uh the solutions are di diverging and it's not converging but there is little we can do uh while simulation is going on so uh, i think uh, i mean with ai enabled solution uh when the solution is diverging the uh, software can detect what are the parameters that are causing to uh, so, uh, that is causing solution to uh, diverge and it can slightly tune those parameters uh and you know uh, the solution the optimized solution which is converging can be achieved we have used ansys fluent uh, for this uh, simulation so there are several param uh, several softwares uh, which is used for thermal and fluid simulations but till date ansys fluent remains the most popular one and the reasons are very obvious it has very comprehensive uh, uh, fluid dynamic solvers you know uh then uh, it can it can do multi physics simulation it can uh, handle conduction convection radiation fluid uh, uh, structure interaction i mean several things uh, all at once so it it makes uh, it, this makes it a natural choice for uh, you know fluid and thermal uh, simulations it has extensive material database right from polymers to metals to uh, all kind of uh, and uh, solid are available in its database along with its properties so it makes a natural choice turbulence modeling is there so for high speed uh, simulations we can do that advanced pre processing and post, post processing facilities are there and then this software is being used in several industries so obviously we know if the use base of uh, a software is large uh, so is the uh, community which can offer you the solution when you are stuck so since it is being uh, used in a large uh, number of industries so its community is large you know and we can get the help now earlier we saw how ai can improve the design of uh, uh, adaptive heat sinks now we see how ai can uh, help the software itself so the first thing it can is do is optimize and optimization and design as soon as we upload the of cad model uh, we can get a optimized design on which the simulation needs to be carried out you know so so that we need not do several iterations to figure out which is the best geometry so it can reduce the task by a significant uh, amount then autonomous control uh, it can aut i mean aut autonomously it can control several parameters which is directly going to affect the uh simulation procedure then uh predictive modeling again uh, as we say uh, as its database increases as we have larger database from its past data it can predict which model to choose for a given situation uncertainty quantification whenever we are uh, doing any simulation we are uh, using initial guesses so it can uh, quantify those uh, uh, you know uh uncertainty in, uh, uncertainty into in those initial guesses and try to minimize so that uh, the solution the convergence is reached in a minimum number of uh, uh, iterations before the actual solution is achieved the whole process can be automated otherwise what happens if we suppose we are doing some simulation and we find that uh, solution is not converging or what we do we try and make 
several changes uh, manually and see what is the effect and those who are into thermal simulation then they can uh, i mean they are aware that it can take days months and even you know years to do a complicated simulation so if the whole process is are automated uh, this time can be uh, bring back uh, i mean it can be brought back to a very uh, uh, less amount then data data driven insights generally when after post processing or after solution uh, we have some data we need to uh, manually interpret those data sometimes you know those interpretation can be right sometimes it may not be that accurate but with ai uh, those data can be interpreted uh, in a very clear manner and decisions can be made and then automated parameter tuning it is somewhat related with that uh, a uh, predictive modeling as i said uh, it automatically i mean with every iteration it automatically uh, tunes the parameters which are significant for the uh, uh, for the simulation so now we have that plan that we want to uh, implement ai in uh, ansys uh, fluent software so with every plan comes some challenges so what are those challenges so complexity of thermal systems thermal systems are a mechanical system and sort of conventional systems uh it are these are very complex systems there are so many things happening together you know conduction is happening con convection radiation then fluid is interacting with the structure so modeling all those things uh, and bring into a mathematical model precisely is a very uh, uh uphill task you know a challenging task then data availability to implement ai we know we need a large set of structured data uh but since every huge case of uh, thermal simulation is different so data that is available uh, may not be very structured one data quality again it is related with the second point data might be available but it it may not be very structured and very uh you know uh, in a position which can be directly implemented computational resources uh in normal situation itself the computational resources that are required for thermal simulation are very very high you know the computational costs are very high so implementing ai in those uh, models would again require huge amount of uh, you know computational resources uh, then interdisciplinary knowledge any if we are suppose uh, applying ai in any field suppose if you are a applying ai in a uh, medical field suppose we are processing cancer images we apart from a software engineer we need a doctor who can uh, interpret those results similarly in this case if you want to implement a, a ai in a, some thermal simulation software or simulation software in general we we need expert of that field which can interpret uh, interpret those results and make uh, further modifi modifications to the ai model uh, model uh, interpretability again related with the previous point uh, we need expert to interpret whatever uh, has been achieved uh, through that ai model simulation time uh, i think computational resources and simulation uh, simulation time are uh, related are dependent in some manner we need high uh, amount of computational resources if we want less simulation time but if we have uh, don't we if we don't have constraint on simulation time then a uh, smaller amount of computational resources would also serve the purpose then validation and verification again experts would be needed whatever uh, data has been achieved uh, we need experts to validate those uh, findings user adoption uh, see these softwares are uh, Uh, these thermal softwares have been are be, are in use since ages you know there are professors who have spent their whole life doing thermal simulation so to them if we go and suggest something uh, you know ai enabled data we need to make it very user friendly and it should come with some sort of catalog which can interpret uh, you know uh, which can make things simple for them then there are integration challenges uh, the whole software architecture has to be changed uh you know a major if you not whole a, a major uh, you know change has to be done and then regulatory compliance uh there are certain areas uh, like in uh, medical field 
or in aerospace uh, you know suppose we are doing a simulation for an aircraft there are certain regula uh, regulations statutory uh, regulations so we need to comply to those uh, you know regulations uh, ai in heat sink design uh, what it can do if we talk in terms of ai heat sink i mean uh, if we talk about implementation of ai uh, while designing a heat sink it can offer us topology optimization uh, we all know what is uh, that i mean for a given purpose what is the i mean least weight or least volume structure that can serve the purpose then generative design again it can carry out several iterations to find which is the best design material selection suppose a user has specified that okay this is your thermal load requirement a thermal dissipation requirement and this is the geometry which is fixed so this software uh, ai enabled software can choose the best material out of its database to serve the purpose simulation and prediction as the simulation goes on it can predict after every iterations that what would be the best parameter as a initial guess you know and then cfd simulations uh, again it can automate the whole simulation process temperature monitoring and control suppose while doing some simulation we are doing a simulation for a boiler and there are specific areas that uh, you know software can identify that are more prone to uh, damage or accident or uh, some catastrophic, uh, catastrophic failure uh, you know in general what happens the analysis is done after the uh, solution is solution part is complete and in some cases solution itself might take you know days and months so suppose if we have to wait for that much period just to see what are the areas where failure can happen uh it is more advisable that we can implement ai and after every iteration it can tell that okay here is the part of the structure which is more prone to the damage and then anomaly detection again similar to the previous part uh energy efficiency it can choose the uh, you know energy is the most important uh factor which is driving the whole world right now so if we can design a system which is more energy efficient it would be uh, uh, like it is strongly uh, needed and advised customization uh, we need not 3d print every time to see uh, what is uh, which design is better you know we can just in the software itself uh, based on the previous data the model can be customized 